activist known for his work at crime scenes and helping grieving families. But now Andrew Holmes is out of a job. The nonprofit he worked for says he's been terminated amid a lawsuit and allegations that he assaulted a former co-worker. Holmes also serves as a trustee in the village of Dalton. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop with tonight's story. We in the, the most dangerous areas at the most dangerous time at night. His name, his face, synonymous with the fight against Chicago violence. We are just concerned about the child right about now. On TV screens and in newspapers, Andrew Holmes stood with families during their most difficult times. He met with dignitaries, received countless awards for his work as a crisis responder. But in the wake of allegations against him, now the group he worked for, Chicago Survivors, says Andrew's been terminated. Props to Chicago Survivors. You did the right thing. If only we could get everyone else in the town to do the right thing as well. A statement to NBC5 reads, our mission is to provide crime victim services to family members of homicide victims, so our relationship with those families in our community is paramount. Without compromise, there needs to be strong mutual trust and an assumed high level of safety for the adults and children we serve. For those reasons, we terminated his employment in April upon learning of the serious allegations. I'm fighting for every woman. Holmes also serves as an elected trustee in the village of Dalton. He's being sued by Fania Dukes, Mayor Tiffany Hanyard's ex-assistant. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. So in other words, Big Tiff, it only matters when you're a black woman in power, but not when you're a black woman. I don't understand how it is that a black woman could not come to you, Big Tiff, and you not protect her since you claim that you care about black women. What you really care about is yourself and what you can get, how much you can get, and however many people you can get it from. Even if the people that you want are married to other people, allegedly, if you want it, you're going to get it, you're going after it, and you're going to take it. And I've told everyone this plenty of times before, that's why there's no such thing as a sister or sisterhood, because if they want your man and what you got, they're going to come and take it. And if you think that they won't just because you female and they female, you sadly mistaken, you're going to be in for a rude damn awakening. Dukes filed this civil lawsuit against Henyard and Holmes. She accuses him of assaulting her. Dukes issued this statement last week describing the lawsuit's allegations. Until my last memory was me waking up in his room. In this video, she details what she says happened before and after an incident that allegedly occurred almost a year ago during a taxpayer-paid economic development trip to Las Vegas. On that trip, Henyard, a handful of village and Thornton Township reps, and trustee Holmes. According to the lawsuit, after dinner and walking the Las Vegas Strip with Holmes, Dukes felt disoriented and ultimately blacked out. Holmes has not responded to our repeated requests for a comment. Isn't it interesting how none of these public officials don't want to have any comments on anything? Even if the comment is no comment, they ain't saying nothing. But you got Andrew, who's basically in hiding. Now you don't have nothing to say. You can't even say no comment. You can't comment on anything. And we already know the Big Tiff ain't got nothing to say. The person that's got the most to say don't have nothing to say. And nobody thinks that that's weird. It definitely means the most narcissistic person in the room is not interested in saying anything because she don't want to incriminate herself, but she want everybody to believe her. That's why she takes so much time to run off at the mouth when she's at them daggone meetings, because she probably has been advised by her lawyer not to say too much because it can be held against you. Even though there's too much stuff out there already, Big Tiff. We just waiting. We just waiting and watching and we doing our research, child. So you can continue to put your Lord post up all you want to, but your due is coming. Mary Avant is a retired Chicago police officer. She says the allegations are serious and Chicago survivors did the right thing. I think it's a little bit of being careful because they have to be concerned about themselves and the look it gives them. And many residents and also some trustees are calling on Andrew Holmes to step down from the village board. Reporting from Dalton, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. So we know that they continue to ask for the resignations. These people are not going to resign. That's why I say when you go to these meetings, just find something else to talk about or find something else to do, find something else to say. They're not going to resign. They don't care about all the names that you're calling them. 
They don't care about what you think. They're going to do what they want to do because at the end of the day, you can see that they really don't care about community or their community. They care about themselves. When people sit around and act like voting doesn't matter, it absolutely does matter. And hopefully the people in Dalton have learned that lesson from this horrible situation that they find themselves in and continue to deal with up until this date, which is May the 5th, damn team. So now that the next board meeting is coming up and Andrew has been taken off of this, are you all going to do whatever it is they can do? Because I don't know what needs to be done to get him off as far as trustees are concerned. And for those people that, again, still support Big Tiff, why are you not? Why are you not asking yourselves, why is it that she won't talk about this? Why is it that she won't discuss what's going on with Ant? How come he's not showing up? Anybody that doesn't come to their job, if y'all don't go to your job for this dad going long, what's going to happen to y'all? Help me understand why it is that this person doesn't have to show up, doesn't have to give a comment, doesn't have to tell the public anything, even though he's a public servant, but allegedly probably still getting paid. Big Tiff could at least come out here and say he's um, on a leave right now. He is not getting paid. She won't even address it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, in my opinion, these people, first of all, are all in cahoots. Second of all, they all got dirt on one another, allegedly. And if one goes down, all the rest is going to go down too. We shall see what happens as far as Keith is concerned, because that's the one person that's been indicted. But as this is starting to heat up and the due date comes for the documents to be sent back to the FBI, we can definitely expect to see movement over the summer. Again, I don't think that she's going to get arrested next week when the deadline comes for the documents that she has to turn in or the clerk has to turn in or whatever. However, I think that her time is definitely going to be coming and it's going to be a couple of other people going as well. Now, the first person that flips gets the best deal. So the question is, has Keith flipped or can we now expect Ann, now that he's going to start to lose things allegedly, is he going to turn around and start talking? And is Big Tiff going to be worried about that or is she just going to let it go ahead and go? We're going to be on it, watching, seeing, and trying to figure out what the heck is going on while we continue to do our research. Shout out to Big Tiff for giving me that suggestion to make sure that I research, okay? Because there's too much out here. And people are out here scrubbing their daggone social medias and getting rid of stuff and doing all that. It's a little too late now. Because once the FBI makes themselves known, they've already been looking into things and they've screenshotted and taken everything any daggone way. Not to mention all the residents with everything that they're keeping. Shout out to you if you made it this far. Please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. I will see you all in the next one.